Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Now this chapter is going to focus on basically setting up our preferences and settings, which is a crucial component to Lightroom. Uh, not only is it going to help Lightroom run more efficiently, but it's also going to help you cater Lightroom's functionality to your workflow. So what I want you guys to do is go through this chapter now and then also revisit it in the future when you guys get more comfortable with Lightroom to help you guys to really understand and set up the correct preferences. It'll really be something that you guys will appreciate in the future as it's going to speed up the efficiency and effectiveness of Lightroom in your workflow. So let's get started. We're going to go into our preferences and we can get there by hitting either control comma or command comma on a Mac or you can go the old fashioned way into the edit menu and go into preferences. I'm going to go the old fashioned way. All right, so let's start with the general tab. You have language, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you guys don't speak English, then you probably wouldn't be listening to this tutorial. Uh, or if English isn't your second language, feel free to change that. Next, we have two settings. One is show splash screen during startup. Now, this splash screen is a screen that pops up when you first click on uh, the, when you first double click or open up the Adobe application. It shows a little splash that just basically shows up until the, the program loads. Now I like to have that selected and the only reason why is because a lot of times I'll click an application or I'll double click it and I won't know if it's loading or not. So having the splash screen show up just, just allows me to know that it's loading. Next I always turn on the automatically check for updates and there's a few reasons why. Uh, new cameras are constantly coming out and each new camera has a different version of RAW which may not be supported by your current version of Lightroom. So as you update Lightroom it'll update for these new camera versions and the new file formats. Next is as they update features in Lightroom, as they fix bugs and stuff like that, the new updates will also push down all those fixes. So automatically checking for updates will make sure that Lightroom is running at peak performance at all times, unless they do a fix which actually slows it down, which has been known to happen at times. All right, so default catalog when starting up, use this catalog. I typically will have this set to load the most recent catalog just because I want it to load what I was recently working on. But you guys can set this up to actually prompt you when starting Lightroom, which will ask you which catalog do you want to open? Do you want to start up a new one? Or you can set it to a specific catalog if you say only work in one catalog. All right, let's move on to our import options. Now, the first option we have is to show the import dialog when a memory card is detected. I usually turn this off, and the reason why is because oftentimes it's going to uh, detect a hard drive that has images on it as a memory card. And so when you pop in a hard drive, if it's got images on it, it's going to open up Lightroom by default, and it can be really kind of annoying. All right, the next option is ignore camera generated folder names when naming folders. Basically what this will do is, let's say you have a card or you've been shooting on multiple cameras and those images are in different folders on a card or on a hard drive, checking this option will make sure that those all get imported into one place. Now usually I set up my import options to basically pull everything and put it into one folder anyway, so I don't have this option selected. Now, for those of you that shoot RAW plus JPEG, it's important that if you want those files to import into Lightroom with both the RAW and the JPEG side by side, both editable and both shown up in Lightroom, you need to check this option to treat JPEG files next to RAW files as separate photos. If it's not checked, it's not going to treat those files as separate and it's going to only import one of them. All right, moving on, we have completion sounds. Now for completion sounds, I like to actually have it play sounds when I finish doing importing or exporting. And the reason why is because oftentimes I'm importing large amount of photos or exporting large amount of photos, and I don't want to sit there and watch to see if Lightroom's finished. So oftentimes while I'm doing something else, I'll just have it uh, importing or exporting. When it finishes, it'll just play a sound. And so I have it set to this asterisk sound. You guys can choose whatever basically system sounds you want, no sound, or you can choose one of these. Um, or you can configure the system sounds to do something else. But uh, I think they're very, very useful to turn on, so I'd recommend that. Choosing this Reset All Warnings Dialogs, which I just did, is going to reset all the prompts to their default settings. Now, going on to catalog settings, a lot of settings are actually catalog specific, as it's mentioned here. And those are all stored in catalog settings, and we're going to discuss those when we finish talking about the, the general preferences. So let's move on to the next video where we talk about the Presets tab.